Hi Taurus, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for April 2020. This month I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck and remember these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Ascendant and Taurus Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And you might want to watch your cusp sign if you're born on the cusp of your sign because many people are finding that some months their predictions are coming to them from there. So all that being said, Taurus, now on to your April 2020 Psychic Tarot reading. The first card you have here today, Taurus, is the page of swords and the page of swords is an air sign person this is either an aquarius gemini or libra sun moon or rising sign this could be you if you have a rising sign or moon sign that's an air sign it could also be you if you're born on the taurus gemini cusp there are things that were like needed to be revealed to you that are coming to light in April or possibly in May or even in June. You could have a little roll of time here because timing's different for all of you. Like anything where there was truth, uh, truth or information that was withheld is going to come out and be revealed to you. And you're going to feel good about it because you like to know, you like to have all the knowledge in front of you. You know, uh, I don't feel you want to be in the dark. I don't, I feel like you want, you're, you feel like you operate from a position of strength and power when you have everything, you know, all the knowledge that you need. This page of swords person could also be somebody that kind of wants to delve in deep into your business. Could be someone that's like trying to find out info, uh, like dirt on you or gossip on you or know what's going on in your life. It could be a family member that's like, trying to find out like what's going on Taurus what's happening with you um so you have to think that over you may feel like this person has created some sort of nonsense for them or for you uh or obliterated some part of their life like they may have been on a path of destruction uh made bad choices could have gotten involved with drugs or gambling or gotten in a relationship with somebody that wasn't the best person for them to be involved with. You may be looking at them with a bit of a critical eye in April. This could be somebody that wants to confide in you. It could be that same person. Maybe they want to tell you, I screwed things up or look what's going on or my life is a mess or I need to confide. So remember whenever the court cards come up, they can be multiple, multiple people. So you have to sort through those messages and see what uh, makes sense to you for your life. And you may not be able to know that until you're in the month of May or June, because this is a prediction. And they have some kind of cause for concern and they be, may be wary about things that are going on in the world, or they could be wary about they could be wary about doing business dealings with someone or having could be wary about dealing with you. But I feel like if they're if you do business with them, they're wary about doing business with you at this time. Uh, if you don't do business with them, they might be wary of something, somebody in their life that they're dealing with. For some of you, this page of swords wants to confide in you. Uh, for some of you, you have trepidation about them and you feel like they've gotten off course or on the wrong path or made some wrong decisions. The next card you have in your reading is the hanged man. And the hanged man is being in limbo. Uh, you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. There's things in a state of suspended animation and you have to draw very strongly from your own psychic ability and your own intuition at the time that the hanged man shows up. You are going to feel like your hands are tied, like there's things you want to do that you can't do. Now, Taurus, it could be because of things that are going on in the world right now. It could be because of that, but it could be for other reasons. 
you've got to put things, you're like forced in a position to put things on hold. And for some of you, this, you may go, it, it may experience some troubles and issues with your digestive tract at this time. Maybe because this is causing you upset. I don't know, but I get um, like that kind of upset to digestive tract. Yeah, you're going to feel like there's things out of control and out of balance and that you, you can't control what's happening. I see you putting things down on paper. You might be writing lists. It could be making lists of things you need, like if you have to make uh, runs to the store or making lists of just things that you can do or take care of, or perhaps you're giving a list to somebody else to do the, that's getting, doing errands or running errands for you. If you are good at channeling and getting messages from your spirit guides or, um, you know, deceased loved ones, spirit guides, angels, whatever, um, you could be doing a lot of writing down, like uh, maybe you do automatic writing or you receive channeled messages and you're writing everything down because I see you writing things. I see you writing lists. I see you writing messages. You could be sending out a lot of correspondence of emails and uh, letters or emails right now. All of this restriction or worry um, is, could be making you feel quite grumpy. You could feel grumpy in April from this. Some of you are kind of concerned because I feel somebody is sick close to you. They may be a neighbor, like, because I keep seeing behind you. So the house behind you or the apartment behind you or the building behind you, there may be somebody that has, you know, this illness has come up because I, I see that for some of you. I don't feel it's you. I feel like it. And I'm not even so sure it's a family member, but I get somebody behind you uh, is going to come up with it. And I feel like this is going to put you into like, you know, lockdown mode, maybe more than what you already feel like you are. The next card you have is two of rods, and this is partnership and business or partnership and romance. And this, or it could be something you're making, doing, or creating and putting out there into the world. Some of you are creating something that is going to show people how you can help. So you could be creating a video and putting it on YouTube of how people can help themselves with their health, how they can help their finances, how they can help their business grow, how they can help others. Um, or if it's not a video, you could be showing uh, you're teaching your kids things or people around you, but the words showing people how they can help. Or you could just be devising ways you can help your home, yourself, your others, your family members and situations, the situation, people around you. I do feel ultimately you're going to feel like you got through things on a, like a breeze with front flying colors. I do feel that way for many of you, Taurus's sun, moon, and rising signs. Keep in mind, it's not just for Taurus sun I'm reading here. I'm also reading for Taurus sun, Taurus rising, Taurus moon, and the cusp sign of Taurus and whatever sign you're on the cusp of, you know, both directions at the beginning and at the end of your sign. You may be devising new plans because, again, I'm getting devising new plans or, uh, of how to train people or help people. Now, uh, if you're a teacher, you could be devising new lesson plans. If you have a job where you are in the healthcare, or maybe not, maybe any other kind of uh, career, maybe you're devising new training methods. You know, maybe you're the personnel that has, maybe you're the person at the job that has to teach new recruits. Um, but I, I'm getting, like, I'm seeing you work on new ways to teach, train, help. All those things come up here. You may be really keen on sending out a lot of positive affirmations, prayers, and um, messages at this time, like, 
posting could be on, you know, the internet somehow, somewhere, like positive affirmations, sending out positive prayers, sending out positive thoughts, sending out positive blessings, all that comes up. You may be really finding yourself immersing yourself in study uh, or looking in old books and manuals, training manuals, uh, or many books. Maybe you have a lot of a big library because I see you doing a lot of reading, you know, research, reading, all that comes up around you at this time. I see you throwing away a lot of things. You're not the only sign that I got that with. I see you reorganizing your pantry, your kitchen, reorganizing closets. I'm seeing you take out boxes of things to the trash, unwanted things anymore that you don't want anymore. I'm seeing you take a lot of things out, but a lot of I'm seeing you standing on a ladder, reorganize. Maybe you're taking out dishes and cleaning your kitchen cabinet shelves. I'm seeing you reorder, reorganize pantry cabinets, closets, all that stuff. My guides are showing me you on ladders. You could be reorganizing your library, uh, your personal books and notes and things and taking the things you don't want out anymore. You could be selling them, but a lot of you, I see you just taking things out and getting rid of them or donating them. The next card you have here, now the all your cards fell out. Sometimes when I shuffle, if they fall out, I use the what, when they fall out. But sometimes when I shuffle, they don't fall out and I shuffle the cut the deck in three piles and draw five from the top. All five of yours fell out, and this is the order they fell out in. The next card you have is the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is happily ever after. You Good love relationship, happy emotions, love, um, and all of that. Happy children, happy relationship, could be a happy marriage, could be just emotionally feeling good, happily ever after. Some of you are going to have a relationship that you get more deeply intertwined and it becomes closer. If you're dating someone or in a serious relationship with someone, you could move in together and or you could get engaged and the relationship or something like that. Either you move in together or you move in together and then you get engaged or you you're getting engaged and then you're getting married, but you've got a relationship that's deepening and getting closer here. And if you're not in one yet, then there's one coming that this is going to happen to. You're going to have a lot of gratitude. I see you being really, really thankful for the things that you have. Very appreciative and thankful for the things that you have. You could even be doing like a cleansing of your home. Some of you may buy cedar and sage and, and do, or, or Palo Santo wood, holy wood, um, whatever you believe works for you uh, in cleansing your home. It could be literal cleansing, like with bleach, Lysol, Clorox, all of that. Um, but it could also be cleansing of the energies of your home with, like I said, cedar, cedar and sage together, Palo Santo wood or whatever you like to, you know, cleanse with spiritually. Yeah, many of you, it's like, uh, I almost feel like the Brady Bunch. I see that in my head. So some of you, two families could be joined together. Maybe you have kids, you're the significant other that you've been in, that you're interested in has kids and you're joining your families together. That comes up here also. If your love relationship had been like on unsteady ground or weak, I feel you will be repairing this relationship and building a stronger uh, union and stronger foundation. I'm going to give a little weird message right here. One of the things I believe is going to come out of what's been going on in the world, that people are not going to start seeing relationships so disposable like they've been, where, you know, it's like divorces were a dime a dozen or breaking up was happening like at a ridiculous rate. I feel like some of that is going to change and people will see the value in other people more and stick with each other more than has been since like the early 70s. So the next card you have in your reading is the lovers. And the lovers card is two people that are in empathically 
uh, connected, in tune with each other's needs. There's a lot of empathy here and an empathic connection. There's sexual chemistry here. Sometimes there's love, sometimes not. Uh, there's an angel watching over the couple and the angel is either blessing the couple or causing interference for the couple, which could be work, outside forces, kids, uh, exes, but the angel could be blessing the couple. Definitely if you're with someone, I do feel that this is a time where you're, you heal your love, you heal your relationship. And you may start to look at your partner like, I can't do without them. What would I do without them? I can't do without them. Maybe emotionally and maybe in other ways. And this is a time where you are going to start to see the goodness in your partner, in your mate. If you haven't met them yet, this is coming. I feel if you're single, you'll be meeting somebody that you're going to get intertwined with in either the months of June or July. I do feel that you have angels over you saying, hold on tight. Don't despair, hang in there. I do feel that is coming to you from spirit, whether it's angels, your deceased loved ones, your spirit guides, regardless. I do get that is around you. You're really getting a whole big dose of putting things into perspective. Seeing a lot of value in, in things. Value in things you already own, value in each in each other value in other people like the value of things is becoming extremely clear to you not that you didn't see it before but you know life moved so fast and it was always on to the next thing on to the next job on to the next paycheck on to the next purchase on to the next thing i have to do now it's like slowing, things are really slowing down for you, Taurus, is where you're like, I'm really appreciating my partner. I'm really seeing the value in the things I already own or the value in my health or the value in nature or in a combination of things. So if you are like, I don't have anybody in my life, so 10 of cups and lovers doesn't make sense to me. Many of you, someone new will be coming in, I feel in this year of June or July, or it could be in a year from now because sometimes what I said a year ago is happening now and sometimes things I'm saying now take a year to happen. That's the way all psychic predictions work, not just from me. You get psychic readings from people, whether they tell you it or they don't tell you about it, their predictions are not all going to happen to you right the next month, the next two months, the next three months. Some things they're telling you take years to come out. Same goes in these. Uh, I would say a year, sometimes maybe two, but um, I would say definitely a year. So either this June or next June, you've got new love coming in here, but it showed up in your reading. So if you were like, oh, I, don't, I don't have somebody here, that, those messages don't apply to me. They don't apply to you yet, perhaps, but it's coming. So I pulled a gemstone crystal for you already out of the velvet bag of gems. And I uh, am not pulling it on camera because this is quicker, right? These videos are long as it is. So you got clear quartz. Clear quartz was the gemstone that came up for you for the month of April. Good to meditate with on your chakras, sleep with under your pillow, put in your bra, carry in your pocket, wear it as a bracelet or a necklace. And the other sign that got this was Pisces. It's going to give you a renewed sense of promise. And some of you Tauruses are really doing a lot of deep thinking and are reinventing yourself. And this gemstone is going to help you with that. And it's also going to help you with the energy of taking everything out and putting it back together again. And I remember I said in your reading, I picked up some of you cleaning closets, reorganizing cupboards, da, 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 da. This is going to help you with those kind of activities, give you the energy, the impetus, the drive to do it. It's also going to be a good uh, peacemaker stone for you. So if there's people you need to make amends with or uh, make peace with, this for you is a good peacemaker stone in the month of April 2020.
Earlier in your reading, I picked up some of you are going to have digestive problems, maybe over the upset of, maybe you're internalizing the upset of what's going on in the world. This stone is going to help you with digestion. It's also going to be a good idea stone for you. So if you're like, I got to come up with some new ideas, new ways to make money or new ways to live or new this or new that. And I need ideas. Maybe you're a creative person and you like to paint or write or whatever, compose music or, or sing or, you know, play an instrument. This is going to help you come up with new ideas in April. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to subscribe, hit that notification bell when you do. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos to YouTube. Um, as I always say, I record special videos for my Vimeo On Demand channel. They're very reasonably priced. I do not overprice those videos. Um, if you're interested in seeing what psychic messages and predictions that I have for you there, the most recent links are always posted below in the description box in the show more section beneath the videos. The first video series that's listed is what's lucky and new for you, psychic tarot readings for 2020. In those readings, I pulled six cards three cards and then three to confirm and expand on the first three. And then I pulled an additional Oracle card for you from the Keepers of the Light Oracle cards. Those readings were very interesting. I highly recommend them. If you did not get the big love readings, if you didn't check them out yet, I record them in the mid month of February every year. So if you want to get the big love readings for each Zodiac sign for 2020, it's tarot, oracle card, crystal, and gemstones. So I use tarot cards, an oracle card, crystal, and a gemstone for each Zodiac sign. And you might want to check your rising sign and your Venus sign if you know it. For me, my Venus sign really was accurate. So you might want to check those out as well. And it is April. And after I, I'm done this reading, I go on and I record an expansion using my crystal and getting additional messages and predictions for you from my spirit guides as to what else you can expect to experience in the month of April of 2020. So the April Psychic Crystal Readings link is also below this video. Always my links are available on my website, www theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu and there you will see all the video series, the descriptions, how long the predictions are there for uh, and how much they cost. You click on that link and it will take you to that video, those videos on Vimeo. So the links below will take you there and the links on my website. And there's many, many, many. I had 16 1600 plus videos on my Vimeo on demand page for the Lucky Mermaid. If you would like to help support this channel and donate to this channel, I have a donation link below that's connected to PayPal. And I want to thank those who have been very generous and donated to my channel. I don't take it lightly. So thank you so very much for that. If you would like to receive more psychic predictions and messages from me that you're not going to see here on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media pages at the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook, the Psychic Pastry Chef LLC also on Facebook, and the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgel on Instagram. I pull tarot cards, oracle cards, sacred geometry cards, messages from your animal spirit guide cards, uh, she's, uh, keepers of the light oracle cards, angels and ancestors oracle cards, uh, many other kinds of angel cards. And I use my crystal there. You never know what I'm going to use, what my spirit guides are going to say. And those predictions are not just for the day I post the prediction. Sometimes they're for several months out or a few weeks out. So you might want to check them out. Many people find they resonate with them. And I hope to see you there on my social media pages. So I just want to say that I am saying prayers for your optimum health, wellness, healing, and protection. I hope you have an absolutely fabulous month of April and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.